watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Before we take a look at this week's book, the Singh Sabha and other socio-religious movements in the Punjab, let's hear from another one of our viewers talking about one of their favourite books. A book I've enjoyed reading recently is called Unlearned by Humble the Poet, 101 Simple Truths for a Better Life. The book is split up into, as it says, 101 different chapters and the book is non-sequential. Um, it's an easy to read book and uh, each of the 101 chapters relates to a theme about life. Uh, and I think anyone could pick up this book and relate to any one of these chapters um, and take away something from it that they can implement in their lives. The Singh Sabha and other socio-religious movements in the Punjab, 1850-1925, is a book that was edited by Dr. Gandhar Singh in 1973. The book is actually an adaptation of a collection of papers, of articles, that were written in 1973 for a journal called Punjab Past and Present. All of these articles were pertaining to socio-religious movements, including the Singh Sabha, um, of the time period 1850 to 1925, and they were brought together in that particular journal at that time to celebrate the centenary of the Singh Sabha. The collection of articles featured in the book are from a range of writers, uh, including Professor Teja Singh, Professor Harban Singh, Dr. Man Singh Nirankari, as well as uh, the editor himself, Dr. Gunda Singh. In the introduction to this book, the editor himself states that in order to better understand the Singh Sabha as a socio-religious movement, you have to understand different reformist groups of the time period. The book contains an index that is quite thorough. There are extensive footnotes throughout with each article. And quite interestingly, there's a chronology. Now, it only covers about five pages, but it does cover the entire time period from 1850 to 1925, highlighting and pointing out some of the specific events that took place um, of that time period. You can read a, a particular article by Dr. Gandhar Singh, the editor, uh, talking specifically just about Raj Karega Khalsa, uh, the couplet, not the idea, and where it stems from. You can also read about the Khalsa College Amritsar, written by Professor Teja Singh, telling us about the history of that particular institution and how it came about. Dr. Roshan Lal Ahuja's article, The Education of Girls at the Time of Annexation uh, in the 1850s, is a particularly interesting article and insightful about the way that females were treated at that time period. So you have a whole range of articles, something for everyone if you like, uh, but specifically for scholars, there's quite a lot of interesting detail. All in all, the Singh Sabha and other socio-religious movements in the Punjab is uh, a must-have book for anyone who has a keen interest in the Punjab, particularly uh, pre-partition. Um, but it's a great book to just read, to give yourself background knowledge, almost trivia knowledge sometimes, about how the Punjab came to be and what made up some of those reformist movements in the Sikh way of life in the latter century. We want to know what you think, so please leave a comment below and tell us what you think of this book edited by Dr. Gandhar Singh. Join us again for another edition of Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read.